Hey Jason, I have some exciting news. My parents are coming to town to visit us. And they said they had a story for us. Wow! Did they say what it was about? They said it was about their backstory, why I have so many siblings, and why they decided to name us after musical scales and modes. One time, D. Mixolydian said that we had hundreds of siblings, but I don't believe we have that many siblings yet, even though there may be hundreds, if not thousands of scales and modes. That's a lot of siblings. I know. That must be them right now. Mom, Dad, you're here. Welcome to my house. Hello Carolina, nice to see you. Are you ready for us to tell you our story? Yes. Hi, I'm her boyfriend Jason. Nice to meet you Jason. I have been wanting to tell you this story for a while, so here it is. The story goes like this. When I was a teenager, I would be asked to babysit my little cousin Caroline. Is that why you decided to name me Carolina? Yes, they are similar names after all. Hey Rosemary, your Aunt Gina was wondering if you could babysit Caroline for her. Are you kidding? Of course I would babysit her. She is such a sweetheart. Great! So Caroline, do you want to go to the park? Yes! So how is school so far? Pretty good. Anything special going on? I'm going to be performing in a play next week. Are you going to be there? Yes, of course I'll be there. Hooray! Let's play catch. Okay. After we were done playing catch, it's getting kinda hot. Should we buy some ice cream? Yeah! Thanks for buying us ice cream, Rosemary. No problem. Hey, Rosemary, how was Caroline? She has been really good. Nice. Thanks for babysitting her. I'll see you next time. See you later. See you later. Caroline is such a sweetheart. Maybe one day I'll have my own children. During high school, I had a music theory class, which was really fun. So first you have the C major scale, which consists of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Another name for this scale is Ionian. The second mode of the major scale is the Dorian mode, which is like a minor scale, but with a sharpened sixth. The C Dorian mode is C. D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, and C. The third mode is the Phrygian mode, which is a minor scale with a flattened second. The C Phrygian mode is C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and C. The fourth mode is Lydian, which is a major scale with a sharpened fourth. C Lydian is C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and C. The fifth mode is Mixolydian, which is a major scale with a flattened seventh. C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, and C. The sixth mode is Aeolian, which is another name for a minor scale. C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and C. The seventh and final mode is Locrian, which is a minor scale with a flattened second and a flattened fifth. C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, and C. Also, if you take the C major scale and change the root note, then you will get a different mode of the C major scale. 
For example, if you use the same notes of that scale and start with the A note, then that's the A minor scale. Likewise, if you start on the D note, then you'll have the D Dorian mode. Alright guys, I'll give you all a worksheet about this. Hey Aaron, you love music theory, right? Yes. I was thinking about giving my children nicknames related to scales and modes. For example, my children could be nicknamed De Lydian, De Harmonic Minor, or De Dorian. If you didn't know, the D note is my favorite, so all of my children's nicknames will start with D. Um, I haven't thought of that. Well, my favorite key is C, so my children are going to have scales and modes that start on C. And guess what? I have a crush on Oscar. And yes, your dad Oscar was also in my music theory class. Apparently, he also had a crush on me too. So eventually, we became boyfriend and girlfriend. Hey Oscar, do you want to be my boyfriend? Oh my gosh! I was thinking about asking you the same question too. Of course I will. Yes. So a few years later, we were officially married and I was ecstatic. We had our first honeymoon in Plot Dagen City and we thought it was beautiful, so we eventually moved there. I thought I was finally going to raise a big happy family. However, when we tried to have a baby for over a year, something wasn't right. For some reason, I wasn't getting pregnant. We went to the doctor and this is what he said. Mrs. Victors, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh no. You're infertile, so you won't be able to get pregnant. What? So that means I can't have kids? I'm afraid not, madam. And we couldn't figure out the cause of your infertility. <laughs> I can't believe I'm unable to get pregnant. It was my dream to raise a big family. Now I can't relive the moments that I had with my cousin Caroline when I was a teenager. What am I going to do? Don't cry Rosemary, there's also the option to adopt the child. Wait, really? Yes! So we did just that, adopted a child. He was four years old during the time we adopted him. His name is Quincy, and he's the key of D-sharp major. Welcome to the family, Quincy. How would you like to go to the park? Yay. Oh, hi, Aaron. Hi, Rosemary. I found a really cool machine. Wanna check it out? Yeah. Whoa, what's this? This is the baby machine. The baby machine? Yes, the baby machine. For the machine to work, it has to take the DNA of two people and use it to produce the baby. And while a typical baby stays in their mother's womb for about nine months, this machine takes about a week to finish the process. So does that mean I can make the large family I've been dreaming of? Yes. But be careful. Taking care of a large family is a huge responsibility, so I suggest not producing like 25 children at once. Instead, take it slow. Got it. So yes, me and Oscar, along with six other families, used that machine to create our children and nickname them after musical scales and modes. That's why you have so many friends with that kind of nickname. There were also other couples that volunteered to let us borrow their DNA as well. We stayed in Plot Argon City for a while and moved back to Fargo, North Dakota five years ago since we felt nostalgic for our hometown. And here we are now visiting you again. And that was how the note keys were created. Great story. That just answered so many questions. I guess that explains why a harmonic minor is only a month older than a Dorian. Also, do we actually have hundreds of siblings? Because D. Mixolydian thinks so, unless he was over-exaggerating. No, not yet. We still have a long way to go before we get to every scale and every mode. I believe I'm currently at 55 children. That's still a lot though. And speaking of D. Mixolydian, where is he? He's still at my old house. 
I decided to move out of it since he caused a huge drama for several days. But I think he's finally changing his ways. Well that's good then. Anyways, are you planning to move back to Plotagon City? Actually, yes we are. Even though I have a soft spot for my hometown, this is where most of our family lives. Hopefully our friends are moving here too. It was nice seeing you again D. Lidin, but we have to go. See you later. See you later. Well Oscar, what do you think of our new house? I love it. Do you think we should tell D. Mixolydian our story too? Yes. I wonder who that could be. Oh, hi mom, hi dad. Nice to see you again Luke. Um, what's wrong? Aren't you happy to see us? Not really. Why? Because I don't think you guys really love me. What? What are you talking about? Of course we love you. Yeah right. I still haven't forgotten about what you guys did to me during my teenage years. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. But we came here to tell you a story. The story of how I came up with the idea to nickname my children after musical scales and why you have so many siblings. Now that I think about it, I have been wondering why that's the case. And no, you don't have hundreds of siblings yet. I don't. No, you only have 54. Well, I guess I looked up how many scales there were and jumped to conclusions too quickly. Anyways, let's have a seat while I tell you my story. The story goes like this, after I finished telling my story. And that was how the note keys were created. Wow, no wonder I have so many siblings. Thank you for answering that for me. But... I'm still kinda mad at you guys regardless. So I'm gonna stay mad at you until you prove to me that you love me. Have a nice day. Hey Oscar, do you have any idea why D. Mixolydian is mad at us? No. I have no clue. He did say that we did something to him during his teenage years. Wait a minute. You don't mean... Hey guys, F Major's biggest fan here. It's the last episode before the season 6 finale. Trust me, I am just as excited for it as you are. Also, why do you think D. Mixolydian is mad at his parents? Let me know in the comments. Sorry if this episode was quite short. I wasn't expecting it to be this short either. But I promise that the next episode will be much longer. Alright, that's all for now. See you later. <laughs>